Hey guys, I'm Fox. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for giving me 1,000 subs. Um, I really appreciate it. Today, I want to help people out with an endgame topic that I think is very important. Um, right now, the best way to survive an endgame is a concept called shield gating. Warframe's focus has definitely shifted a little more towards endgame play at the moment. And one of the more important factors of endgame play is staying alive. When you run out of shields, you become invincible for about two seconds. This is the concept behind shield gating. Um, multiple enemies are attacking you, you run out of shield, and you become invincible for as long as you have the shield gate. When you run out of shields, if you are at full shields, you stay invincible for a lot longer than if you are. So the idea starts to become, like, how can I use this to the best of my ability? so that I can stay invincible forever. And the best way to use it to your advantage is to find warframes or weapons that can continuously give you shields or allow you to always get back up to your maximum amount of shield. There are lots of warframes and weapons that do this. Um, I started off with Hildren just as an example. Hildren has pillage. Um, as long as you hit pillage, um, it does use a little bit of your shield, but as long as you hit pillage, you will get the shields back depending on how much armor you strip from the enemies. So as long as you're stripping armor from the enemies, and as long as you're hitting pillage over and over again, you just will be invincible forever. Because every time the shield gate goes off, you're going to have two-ish seconds of invincibility. You can see here I'm getting absolutely melted by a bunch of enemies, and I'm just not dying because my shields keep going back to full, and I keep having two and a half seconds of invincibility, I recast pillage, the cycle continues. Now, step two of this is how can I use this effectively and what are good ways of using this? So pillage, you can actually subsume with the helmet. This means you can put pillage on any warframe. So any warframe that you think is good all on its own, go ahead and put pillage on it. And it's a good ability. It does give armor strip and it does reduce shields of the enemy as well as giving you back shields. So it's great, awesome ability. Any warframe shield ability will work though. Um, there are some weapons that do this, the Rakta Dark Dagger. Whenever you hit an irradiated target, um, you can see it in the description, it says um, applying a radiation effect to an irradiated target will give you shields or over shields. Um, you know, it'll give you shields first and then over shields. To me, this is another great one where it's just a little standalone thing that at any time you say, hey, I need something quick and easy that I can just throw on to any frame, any build. Um, it is a good melee weapon, it attacks fast, it does a lot of damage, and most of the time people are just using their melee weapons as damage dealing things anyway, so Rakta Dark Dagger is a perfect pick if you just want to throw something on and just forget about it, right? Like this will constantly give you shields and over shields. I'll show you just a small clip of me just meleeing enemies and um, it just gives you the shields back. So, other than these two, there are some other things that you can use, right? And there are some minor tricks that you can apply to try to make the shield game easier. Um, when you have too much shield or like, too much overshield, uh, maybe it's hard to manage your shield or it doesn't fill back up at the right speed. So, some people use Bleeding Dragon Key or Decaying Dragon Key. Um, one of the Dragon Keys reduces your maximum shield amount by 75%. So, by having a lower shield, you actually get full shields faster, so you can shield gate more frequently. Another thing that you could use, um, you can use Equinox. Equinox's ability to, um, I think it's the fourth ability, it says whenever an enemy is killed, you get shields back. So as long as you guys have energy and as long as you're killing enemies, which is something you're gonna wind up doing in Steel Path and high level content, you will be getting the shields back. Last one I wanna throw out there is Trinity, just as an example. Um, Trinity says gives 100% of health and shields back. Um, this does scale based on your power strength, but as long as you keep around 100 power strength, you should be able to shield gate very effectively with Trinity. I hope I explained the concept well to you guys, and I hope you guys can use it for your own playstyles to get a little further in the game.